Did it hurt when you fell from the vending machine? We're home! Oh my god. Good morning, my loves, and welcome back to the vlogs. It is officially morning time. It is currently 10.07, and if I sound disgusting, if I sound like I just woke up, it is absolutely a thousand percent because I just did, and it's moving day, and I'm stressed! You don't even understand. Today, this morning has been filled with trials, with tribulations. Ooh, she a deep sister. Poetry who biz. So essentially, the movers were supposed to get here at 9.30, but they got here at 10.08, and we're supposed to get to the new place by 11. So we only really had like an hour, an hour and a half to pack everything into the van and go to the new place, mainly because we have an AT&T internet person coming. We have like a West Elm delivery and assembly coming. It is just a shit show, but they showed up late, so I'm not exactly sure what time we're going to get to the new place and if we're going to miss our appointment and what happens if I don't have Wi-Fi I think that's my biggest concern I'm like we cannot miss this AT&T guy even part of me is like wait should I just uber down to downtown just so I can make sure that the AT&T guy gets in <gasps> that's a genius plan why haven't I run this through Steffi Yance? I'm not sure so let me show you oh up oh, there he goes hello hey where'd you run up to I'm doing my intro <laughs> Oh. <laughs> He's like, is hey, this bitch hiding in the car right now? I have a little bit of pain in the back of my mouth. So if you start to hear it, kind of like a lisp, not really a lisp. I guess this is a lisp. Oh, right there. Yeah, I don't know what it is, but there's there's something there, okay? Maybe I just need some more sleep because I only slept like three hours last night because I've been so excited. My fiance got one hour of sleep and let's go see the progress inside the apartment. <laughs> progress update it doesn't look like a lot has changed but i swear to you this was like coming out all the way here so i feel like we've moved like i would say like 30 percent of the boxes already and i feel like they've only been here for five minutes so very efficient movie right now and i guess we only have like two three more rolls to go and clear Co okay somewhat clear we still have those two these three things and then some of these were not where i think we're either selling or donating i'm taking the clothing rack taking the desk taking the chandeliers i don't think i'm gonna take this chair or this desk and just like that we're out <gasps> oh my gosh wait this can't be the reveal but it's the reveal you guys we're moved in somewhat moved in so be even before we came thankfully they were able to open the door for the west Elm people so they delivered this giant oversized circular mirror and then we're already having a little bit of moving problems because these are the bar stools that i ordered and this is the lower one so i got there's counter stools and then bar stools so counter stools are a lot lower so that you can eat it with like a breakfast island but um this looks really <gasps> I don't even feel like this is real. It's been about three hours of sleep and a lot of moving around that we've been doing. I'm so excited to stock this fridge later. We just turned on the AC and I don't even know where to start. Look at this. Look at this. She a beaut, okay? She a beauty. We've got more. I There's surprisingly a lot more cabinet space than I thought there was going to be because I don't know why in my head I just thought it was this and this. But then I realized there's this, there's this, and then there's all of this. So... I'm excited. A lot of space though. I mean, a lot more than I thought. So I'm pleasantly surprised, which is a good thing. Ice. Uh, down here, I checked for you. Do? That's gonna be my secret shelf of ice creams, and then down here we'll have the healthy stuff. So when people come over, I'm like, yes, mom, I'm an adult. Little does she know. Halo top. You guys don't know, this is the one in the very first video of apartment hunting. It was the last one. We found this. Okay, this is exactly how it went down. When we came to visit this building for the first time, our leasing agent, he showed us like this exact floor plan because they have three different like cabinets and flooring combination so they have light medium and dark and we just wanted light we love these light colored floors almost because it feels like a cloud because you're so high up so it kind of gives you that like cloud vibe and so we really wanted the light floor plan and they didn't have any because it's limited like each floor is a different color scheme and so like we wanted this exact floor plan this layout the two bed two bath and there just wasn't any until we looked online i think like a week after we left 
about a week after we saw the apartment, we went online and we saw that they had the exact one that we wanted on the exact floor. That would have been like the dream floor because this is just, this is as high as you can get with this floor plan. And so it's just, everything worked out perfectly. We were like, this is the one. I don't know why every other place when we walked in to even view the apartments, I was really excited. And like the main reason I didn't choose the other one that you guys really loved, Avon, with like the really nice leasing. Okay, there most of them were all really nice leasing agents. Love them all. But um, like the Avon one with the little doggy station. I think you guys really like that one because I didn't show you guys like the doggy station here or all the amenities here, but there's actually more amenities here that are useful to us. So Avon had some cool, like they had like the volleyball, they had the basketball court, and they had like these cute little grass areas, which is very nice, but like realistically, when is a bitch going to play volleyball, okay? In the sand. So here there's like the gym is really, it's just, it just worked out perfectly. Like the amenities were so much better in our view, like for our life. And so <laughs> let me show you guys from the walkthrough. So this is the main entrance and you have the washer and dryer here on the very right. That's the water heater, washer and dryer. And then here we're going to put some storage shelves because you can't see it once you walk through. And then we have like this incredibly odd shaped storage cabinet, which I think I'm just going to fill it with my tripods and my lights so that they're out of view. And then when you walk in on your left, you have the guest room, but we're actually going to be using this as the master because it's just so much bigger. The only reason that it's considered the guest room is because there's no bathroom attached to it. So usually masters have the bathroom attached and it has all these built-ins. So we're going to hang some sit this. And then that's kind of an awkward corner that I got to figure out what to do with. And then once you leave, it comes with a nest. I'm really excited about this nest thermostat. <laughs> And then you've got the bathroom. I love the bathrooms here because they have like this lighting in the mirror, which I feel like will make it really easy to do my skincare, to do my makeup is. And we've got the little towel hangers. We've got shelving here for towels and other necessities. I mean, just everything is. And then you've got the cabinet space. And then once you leave, you've got the main living room. So this is gonna be like our living room slash Kind of like an office slash not really because we're gonna have like an office office it's just really confusing we're kind of debating i ordered a mirror to put here it's gonna take a little while to get here and then you have the beautiful kitchen i died for this i feel like this just makes the kitchen and then i can't wait for mango to just lay here because she loves being in the sun and being near me when i'm cooking oh man it's getting cold yeah, it's getting chilly. And then this is supposed to be the master, but we're turning this into the guest slash office slash closet because, oh, it's a helicopter base. It looks like a tadpole. And so we're gonna put like my makeup vanity here with a giant mirror. It's just all gonna come together so nicely, I'm hoping. And then we've got more built-ins right here. And so then we have more built-ins here for all of my clothes. And then this will be like the guest bathroom, but I'm mainly gonna turn it into storage. So we're gonna take out the hooks that are right here and put in two storage containers. I hide, holy shit! What? This bathtub, we could fit three people for a bath in here. Dude, you fit three of me. No? Honey, honey. And then we've got each other in the toilet. Nice. Yeah. Should I put it in? No. This one has way more cabinet space, so I think I'm gonna put all of my face masks and stuff in these cabinets, in these drawers. The mirror is big. I'll probably do my hair in this bathroom because also, bam, this. There you have it. This is our new place. I'm gonna do when some. Is the couch coming? They're all coming tomorrow. Majority of our furniture is coming in tomorrow. I would say like 90% of our furniture is coming in. And then we have some stragglers that are gonna be a little bit later. I'm gonna disinfect. Can we get some jajang? Did you know Korean culture? It's you're supposed to eat black bean noodles the day you move right. in on your boxes. I'm not feeling jajangmyeon today. I'm not feeling you today. <laughs> okay, what do you want? What do you want? Chipotle? Okay, fine. You wanna look through this? I have no idea where my tripod is and that is just the fun stuff of moving. Okay, hold on. Let me try to prop you guys up on like a paper towel. I got these from Target the other day and they're the cabinet organization tools for all of your plates and your bowls. So I'm gonna see if it even fits. I'm a little bit nervous because now taking a look at these cabinets, I'm like, I don't know if these are gonna fit. I don't know if this is the best place to put plates and bowls, 
like right here. I was thinking of doing like pots and pans or something down here, but we're gonna leave that in right now. And I'm just gonna actually wash some of these dishes so that they can dry and be ready and clean to go into the cabinet. Is that broken bit? Oh, no, it's not. I'm really curious what the hell is going on. We just got here and we just got delivered flowers. This is from Liana from Team Gleam, which I'm covering my fiance's name right now, but is this not the most, and it fits our aesthetic so perfectly. So this is so pretty. I feel so fancy. I have never gotten this kind of treatment before. Honey, what does that say about us? <laughs> what does that say about you? Once everything, the clutter is gone, I'm gonna put it in the middle of this island and it's gonna just jazz up the entire space. Meanwhile, the box boxes are getting higher and higher. After like 20 minutes of trying to get Postmates to work, finally worked. We ordered some Chipotle to the place and I'm about to show you guys the coolest thing that I got. Also, really need to find my tripod. This is really cramping my vlogging style. Sorry if this vlog is just gonna be hella echoey the entire time, but um, these are kind of like random cabinet space. Not really cabinet space because there's no cabinet, but there's storage. So I'm gonna try to utilize it like a storage city bus because I feel like New Yorkers have to do this all the time. These, I got these on Amazon. They just got delivered here. No, they got delivered to the old place. And this is 15 clear pockets over the door organizers. So I'm thinking, let's see if it works. Oh shoot, I might not be tall enough. Not that I have so much moving to do, but like priorities. Whoa, it's like a shower curtain. And then it comes with these hooks. Okay. I'm glad that the dogs aren't here. They would have died just stressed out and freaked out by everything the entire time. Oh, for sure not tall enough. Hey. How is it? We're in business. You I love being and vlogging my first furniture assembly. What are you assembling? These flowers, I just can't get over how much flowers change your entire mood. I was so stressed out. First meal of the day begins at 1.28 in the freaking afternoon. I'm so hungry. We got more Chipotle this. Oh yes. Are you ready, boo? <gasps> no utensils, this. This is the worst day to not give me utensils. Okay, now I'm looking for utensils. So I've changed into PJs and I've been completely unpacking this mess behind me. To give you a quick update on the unpacking process, it's not going so hot, okay? Your girl is not doing so well and I feel like I need a hot nap or something. We even pulled down the curtains because right now is like prime time, afternoon time and it's really hot over here. Like we have the AC pumping, but if you stand right here and the shades are up, you'll probably break a sweat, like it's pretty bad. So. I just heard the doorbell ring and I started pulling this in when I wanted to show you guys just the, the craziness of the view that I was getting. <laughs> oh, look, it's me. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's my new boo. This is my low mattress. It just delivered. It's a king size. We got a low mattress. I'm so freaking excited. Today's video is sponsored by Low Mattress and I'm so excited. This is actually one of those mattresses that I've been wanting to try for a really long time, mainly because I saw a lot of Instagram friends of mine, Instagram girls, Instagram models with the low mattress, and I was thinking, wait, maybe there is some truth behind the term beauty sleep. You know what that sounds like? A good night's sleep. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Now what? It's expanding! It's expanding! Cute. Wow! 
<laughs> this looks awesome. Oh my god. You need a scissor or yeah. something? No, I'm too excited. I'm gonna be doing is I have some leftover Chipotle. That looks huge, that bed. I love it. Lo, you have saved my life. Let me tell you guys, you guys know my last bed breaking. Mattress sucked. I hated it so much the past two weeks, even prior to this move, my body has been so sore, has been in so much pain. Like our old mattress was foamy and so you would just kind of move around, but this one, I feel like my bottom is locked in. If you guys are interested, I'm going to have a coupon code linked in the description for you guys. I'm going to give you guys an update after I sleep on it for sure though, so expect one at like the end of this vlog. I just, I want to be able to sleep on it before I tell you guys if it's amazing, but it feels amazing so far. They have free returns. They have something called the 100 night trial. So you try it for a hundred nights. You don't like it free return. It's super simple and the free shipping is so easy so quick and comes to your front doorstep So link in the description for some reason I feel like it's cooling down my body. Is this sun I see? Is this outside air that I'm smelling right now? I've been locked in that apartment all day just trying to unpack. We're walking to Whole Foods right now to pick up what I assume is gonna be dinner because we had Chipotle for lunch and we can't have it for dinner too. All right, Whole Foods, show me what you got this. Kind of reminds me of Atlanta. Yeah, it's, it's like big. that fresh, clean, yeah. like new, because the one in Beverly Hills is super old, super cramped. Let's get fruit. I've been craving so much fruit. Should we get some mandarins? Some local, oh, put the, you want to get a, did you just get one? Oh, yes. Come to me. A scat grape. This banana organization is better than my life. They have something called breakfast bacon. What? Breakfast coffee bacon, jalapeno Whoa. rub bacon, pork, maple, apple, awesome. smoky, and dooley. Is that how you pronounce it? What? I'm, I'm so yeah, confused with this that. This coffee, coffee bacon. bacon. Like, I haven't been back to Whole Foods. I know. We're kind of dying now. at the fact that this is like a legitimate Whole Foods so close to us. And oh my gosh, Zaddy who? He even bought me a reusable bag. He literally, <laughs> I wish like, he goes up to the cashier and he goes, honey, honey, which one do you like? And I was like, really? That's what we're gonna do right now? Why do I feel like that's so cool? I never have to stick a key in the hole. Wow. It feels so weird to call this home now. Okay, let's put away some of the fruit. My goal is to get rid of 95% of all the boxes today. Wait, hey, hey, babe. I what? I'm watching Pretty Little Liars for the 10th time in my entire life. I'm pretty sure that I know their lines better than they goddamn know their characters. Someone should have casted me, bitch. I kind of finished up the kitchen, but I decided to take a quick break and do the bedroom. And we don't, we haven't installed any of like the ceiling pendant lights because those are coming in tomorrow. Well, we have the lights. The electrician's coming in so we don't die. And we also don't have a ladder. And so I'm using my studio light and I just feel like so weird. Oh my God, can you shut off the light and show, I want to show them the outside. This is our first time seeing our apartment. Wow. The honey, you look so cool. You want to see? Here. Yeah. Oh my God. We postmated food and it came in a box. <laughs> I guess that's how they do it in downtown. Oh my gosh, this is a shit show. So we have radish kimchi. Bring it on, bitch. I'm so ready. That's a huge dumpling. It's the size of my hand. I think that spoon is a little big. big. <laughs> so I mix them. Yeah, so that one's all the rice cakes. Mm. This is called what? Rice cake okay, dumpling soup? Holy cow. It's like not too heavy, you know? I have been up for way too many hours and I am done. I am almost done. Oh my gosh, I'm so tired. Um, main reason I couldn't finish packing, unpacking everything is because our furniture is coming in tomorrow and the day after tomorrow and I think that's it. Maybe a couple small hack, like smagglers. Smack, smack, smack. Oh yeah, I just lost like 10 brain cells. 
I was on my hair bun and I moved it and that was a lot of wow um I think it's coming in like within the next three days and I think like the last day is just small pieces like utensils and like flatware and some plates and stuff so ah! I'll see you guys in the morning in three two one good morning my loves <laughs> the furniture hasn't come in yet I woke up super early the electrician just stopped by I just want to talk to you guys about the low mattress again because I told you guys I was gonna give you a review after I sleep on it and you guys already know like all the good perks about it like the free shipping the hundred night trial the free returns but let me tell you something I slept on this last night and it was so comfortable I don't know how to explain it but I got so much back support like it was firm but it wasn't so firm that I felt like I was like sleeping on like this hard rock or anything like that it was just a lot of support I, I feel like I'm getting old because I just want to be like wow this mattress supported my back which is something that I feel like my mother would say but if you guys are interested I'm gonna link in the description I think there's a hundred fifty dollar off coupon code for you guys honey yeah. how was the mattress for you Really good. <laughs> I told you guys that I was gonna show you guys the entire apartment after the sun came up we had some lighting we just also got our other lighting installed so I'm gonna show you guys all the unpacking that we did so this is the front door and we did our shoe rack here so no one can see it this part is gonna look messy but this is all of our storage but the reason that we did this is because you really can't see it once you pass the entryway and who hangs out in the entryway, right? We have these two big bookshelves from our old place. So then I have like my electronic storage, extension cords, and then I kind of have to use this as a makeshift pantry because I don't have a lot of cabinet space like my old place. So, so I have a snack cubby, a cubby. But then we literally have ramen cubbies, more ramen. The bottom two are just straight ramen. And then we have like my gym bags, some camera boxes that are empty, my rice, my reusable shopping bag, saving the planet. And I am already running a load in the washing machine for the first time. So then when you walk through, I'm gonna just show you guys some organization that I did. So I showed you guys this little thing that I set up and I actually put my spices in here. I was gonna put it inside the kitchen but I realized I don't really cook a lot these days and these are like spices that I don't want to get rid of because these are things that like you just don't even realize how much you need garlic powder until you have one recipe that just calls for garlic powder we have um, my like extra four sigmatics my atomi this like a vitamin C we've got some aloe <laughs> we've got some ibuprofen to show you guys how I did <laughs> the kitchen got all my cups here and then here I have like my bowls oh, I got these like mixing cups from Ikea and I think they're so cute and then down here we've got mixing bowls the only like spice thing that I wanted to keep in the kitchen was the olive oil oh let me show you guys the coolest thing ever this is the most extra thing I've ever done in my entire life so please excuse me but I didn't want anything out in the cabinets she says as there's so much stuff out in the cabinets but you get it this is all going away but i didn't want anything out especially appliances dun, da, da, dun, dun, da, da, dun. we already used it today so don't try to be like stephanie it's never gonna work okay so i put my nespresso machine in here and it's perfect because this is the water filter water filter and then all we did is we just pop a cup in there pop a pot in there and then I put it with an extension cord and there's an outlet right here so then all you have to do is unplug it and it'll be neatly tucked away and then this is also like our utensil drawer I ordered these really beautiful gold utensil set from Amazon for like I think like 10 bucks or something like that it was pretty affordable I'm just thinking like the gold is eventually gonna wash off but it'll be fine for now so this one is where it kind of gets a little bit confusing because I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing over here <laughs> but then this is like kind of like a Tupperware drawer for now and I've got all of my straws there this one is empty because I have more forks and knives coming in that I think I'm gonna turn this into like a flatware and utensil drawer the bottom one I'm gonna do the exact thing that I did with the Nespresso and put an extension cord to plug into that outlet for the air fryer and the rice cooker but I'm assuming that because these take a lot more like steam and heat and pressure that I'm gonna actually just take them out when I use them wait I'm such an idiot I didn't show you guys the lights this is so cool I love this nest we have the new lamps so this one is also in the bedroom the same exact one I'll show you guys the one in the guest room but 
it takes a minute to turn on because we used to have, here listen to this, they just stopped by and this used to be a dimmer so we could kind of control the light settings on this one, but it was making the most obnoxious loud and buzzing noise and I was like, no, all of my videos are gonna have like a background bzzz. So I asked them to, if they could just take out the switch and put in a new one, so they did. And that. now. Can they even see the color? Yeah, it's really yellow in here, look. So I change it to white and then I go dimmer. You're really working that button. Oh, we really also cool. got these on Amazon and they were pretty affordable. They weren't the cheapest thing ever, but considering like the price range that we were looking at when we were even going to like Ikea and stuff, it was pretty comparable. I think they were around like 150 on Amazon, but I mean, I mean, I mean, Okay, maybe Ikea is a little bit cheaper, but if you look at places like even Target, West Elm, well obviously West Elm, I think they were charging like 600 bucks for something not as bright as this. And then none of them came with like the remote where you can like dim, bright, and then like the warm and the cool, because anytime I film, I like to have like the white light, but when I'm at home, I like to just like chill out with the warm light. No, <laughs> she's a dual, she's such a, she's such a, what is it? What am I? She's such a... <laughs> She's such an idiot. <laughs> okay, so then this is also... Everything came with dimmers. They all had buzzing sounds, so it all kind of lags a little bit when you turn it. Oh, this one's actually really quick. This is really pretty. I like this one the most, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. I kind of wish that they had put this one out in the living room. And then, so I'm waiting for my, all my wardrobes to come in. So these are some jackets, some dresses, some more clothes that I need to hang once the wardrobes are in. And then... I have organized the closet. Okay, so these are like my cardigans, things that I'm gonna wear on a daily basis that aren't really jackets. And then I have all of my tops up here. I think all of my tops, most of my tops. And then we've got my pants and my skirts all hung down here. And this is just a mess. <laughs> some big jackets that are super out of season right now. All of my workout clothes some extra clothes that I couldn't find hangers for, my um, undies and stuff, and then more clothes, accessories, a lot of accessories. My sunglass collection is a growing, and that's kind of, that's pretty much the closet organization. I also have, to show you guys the bathroom organization. <laughs> the other bathroom is pretty simple. It's kind of more like my fiance's bathroom, so there's really not much fun stuff in there, but I am waiting for my makeup holder my makeup table to come because I'm gonna do my makeup on my vanity. And then this is kind of like my skincare drawer. It's not perfect yet, but these are, this is an entire box of masks. Ironic thing is that this is a Taco Bell box, so here we are, Taco Bell masks. And then this one's kind of like my contact lenses. Hey, which contact prescription are you guys? Is that like too intimate to ask? I'm negative 3.25, is that good or bad? So then I've got my scrunchies down here. And then, I don't even remember what's in here. Oh yeah, okay. So I've got my face towels, extra backup razors, bath bombs, some feminine stuff. And here is where I really need a lot of work because this is just turning into more of a hodgepodge of just extra backup stuff and it's kind of getting messy. I'm not entirely sure I want to keep this up because I tend to close this door when I'm like washing my face and for some reason I just can't, I'm like I don't want to imagine even cluttering this. Got my robes, my bath robes, a laundry basket. And this is the other bathroom, so we've just got Minimal storage down here. Nothing too exciting in his bathroom. And all the dog stuff, <laughs> waiting for the dogs. We're not gonna keep it in here, obviously, when the dogs get here, but for the time being. And today's comment of the day. That's a lot of echo. Wow, I sound like Adele. <laughs> Goes to <laughs> Te Eun Jin. Te Eun Jin. Literally in Korean, Te Eun Jin. You have a beautiful name. And then she said, Stephanie, did it. <laughs> Stephanie, did it hurt when you fell from the vending machine because you a snack? That is like my new go-to. I'm gonna be like, hey honey, did it hurt when your wallet fell? I'm just kidding. But I think that's gonna be it for today's video, mainly because the furniture people are coming. Gotta end this vlog, gotta start tomorrow's vlog. Stay tuned for tomorrow's vlog because I'm gonna be going through and showing you guys like actually like 90% of the furniture, what this place is eventually gonna look like because right now it's still just kinda like boxes hanging out, nothing is done. We did a lot though. We it's did so, so much. Long. I did not think we were gonna get that much done last night. Great I night. thought we were probably gonna have to spend all day today packing, unpacking too. Yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you Lil Vet for sponsoring today's vlog. Check them out in the description and I'll see you guys tomorrow with the furniture